Hey everybody, Riot Mort here back with another PBE game as Monsters Attack Glitched Out continues on PBE. Uh, trying to bring you some interesting games across the weekday as we try to balance, bug fix, and get it ready for launch in just under two weeks. So, let's see, yesterday was the Vex game, so today I'm going to try something a little different, even though we got a tier start here. Uh, so we can do some, some pretty cool stuff with tier here, so let's see what happens. Um, for now though, again, the quality of life thing where you always get gold early feels so good. It's nice to get that gold in 1-2 every time. Pretty happy about that. So, yeah. Hopefully everyone's enjoying the mid-set. You know, it is a mid-set, so not everything's different. But hopefully there's enough going on here with all the new carries, a lot of new champions. So, a couple new traits and some new augments. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Otherwise, we're really just trying to make sure this comes out. A lot of time has been spent on bug fixing lately. Um, a lot of quality of life adjustments, really looking out for small things that might be a problem. Ooh, we get the blue buff already. Man, maybe it is another Vex game. You just run back-to-back -back Vex games? How's that for a boring YouTube chat? Okay, never mind. That is a free Lucian too. And the good news is Lucian uses blue buff, so... Maybe we play a Lucian game. Play something around Lucian here. All right. So yeah, Lucian is a pretty good champion here. Uh, has that blue buff. Um, usually wants to go AP, something like uh, Death Cap. Uh, very similar to Vex, actually, in the sense that you know he doesn't have any AP from his trait. Uh, so you want, and he does have Renegade. So you actually don't want something like Giant Slayer necessarily, but. All right, here, I'm not a big fan of Brawler Crest. Let's do Three's Company, see if we can hit something wild. Make sure we have enough bench space. And didn't hit the Shen, unfortunately, but we did hit two Ramuses. We can just run a two Ramus front line. Nothing wrong with that. So two Ramuses. We have a Lulu 2 and a Lucian 2. Can we get to 10 gold from here? If we can, that'd be a really good spot here, because having two Ramuses on the front line, two two-star backliners, and ten gold would be really nice here. So seven. If we win, we can sell the Blitzes. Even if we lose, so yeah, we're going to be able to hit ten. Looking real good here. This is probably about as good as you can ask for, actually, out of a threes company start to get these two Ramuses. If we can get an early Ramus somehow and get lucky, that would be pretty insane. But even just the two one-star Ramuses is a very good front line here. Uh, our opponent, thankfully, is only level 3. The Sunfire is going to do some work here. But the combination of the Lucian and the Lulu, I'm pretty sure we'll be okay here. And sure enough, you can see the Lucian pumping out those shots. Uh, Lucian is a 1 cost, so can definitely miss with that spell. But if it hits, does some pretty chunky damage. So, not too shabby here. Get our 10 gold. Have our, have our two stars. This is a pretty good start. I'm pretty happy with this start. Things we'd be looking for here are another quick draw. Maybe some renegades. Don't really hit any of that, unfortunately. We just hit some Lee Sins we can hold on to. Lee Sin would give us heart, but I don't think two heart is worth it here over the two Ramuses with that power of the early threat. If we had put the blue buff on the Lulu, heart might have been worth it. Oh, that is seven Blitzcranks. Okay. That person had seven Blitzcranks. Neat. All right. Well, what are we going to have? What are we going to have? All right. Star Guardian. Nothing too crazy here. The Lux could do some big damage, so want to be careful of that. But thankfully, because they're running Defender and we're mostly magic damage, we tear through that front line pretty quick here. Yep. Sure enough. Not too worried here. Big damage. Lucian doing good here. So again, blue buff Lucian. Good start. Can we get to 20 gold? That's the question. All right. So item wise, we're looking for stuff for our Lucian, obviously. Okay. If we win this, we could sell in pre-level. Um, otherwise, nothing changed. We did find the Pantheon. Pantheon is a heart and Infinitim, which could give us an Infinitim angle. So, the trick with Infinitim, by the way, is that the portals are random each game, much like Socialite from before. 
So it's always a question of is it, is it a frontline portal or is it a backline portal? That'll be the question. So we'll have to wait and see. For now, we're not going to pre-level. This person's all one-star stuff and it's all melee. We should be fine here. The Ramus will do some good work. Ramus Quake 1. Whew! That Lucian damage. You love to see it. Ramus Quake 2. And good. All right. 23 gold. Again, we're rich. We've got some two stars. What are we looking for here? It's about 8 p.m. right now. Just finished a long day of work. Still a lot to do, though. Whether it be this set or the next. Still so much to do. All right, waiting for a fight to resolve. Here we go. All right, it is the Corrupted Carousel. It's the two-item one with Offensive. Now, there is a Ramus here. And the nice thing now is with the changes where the items pop off, if we can get this Ramus, we just get a Giant Slayer and our Ramus too. And the, it won't be stuck on the Ramus, which is huge. So we can actually just look at this Ramus and go, that might be worth it. Wait, are they going to give it to us? Oh my god, they are. All right, well... That's Ramus 2 at 2-5. Feels pretty good. Can't complain. All right, well, that's a real front line. And we hit an Infiniteam here. So what we can do is level up. This will give us three Infiniteam. Okay, it's a backline portal, which means we can clone Lucian. That should be fine. And so what this is going to do is at the start of combat, it's going to create a Lucian clone and it will have one item for each augment we have. So right now it'll only be a, a Lucian 2 with one item, but it'll still be, you know, an extra champion, some extra damage. And so you can see here, it got a death cap, not bad. Not bad. And the items are usually pretty tailored. Not gonna say it's perfect, but... So the fact that this person's level four, we have this big Ramus, we should be okay here. Now, the thing to note about these clones here is they have a lot less health and they do a lot less damage. But if you're lucky enough to get an Infiniteam emblem, they don't do less CC. So something like Infiniteam Urgot, Infiniteam, uh, uh, what's the other one? Morgana can be really good. Okay, we find a Kaisa here, which is Quick Draw. Quick Draw is going to make our Lucian even better. I think that's going to be better than a, a Lulu 2 here because it's going to give us the quick draw on both the Lucian and the clone. So that's pretty good. So level 5, 30 gold, 2-star Ramus, 2-star Lucian. Feeling pretty good here. Now, Lucian's also tricky in that he has quick draw and renegade. So he actually starts off a little weak, but if you can get those traits active, he can start to pump out a lot more damage. And so thankfully, our opponent's only a level 4. Nothing too crazy. Looks like they're playing underground. So this should be a free win, and we are... Looking very rich right now. Also getting the Gunblade on the Lucian, the Lucian clone here, kind of nice. Okay, not too shabby. Feels good to win streak. And with this much gold, win streaking with this much gold puts us in a really good spot here. Now there is one other win streaker in the lobby. So if I were being good, I'd probably, I should scout them and see what's going on. Knowing me, I was probably multitasking during this game, though, taking notes. But we'll see. Yeah, three win streakers actually in this lobby. That's pretty funny. All right, we find an early misfortune and a Shen. Wow, this is a big shop here because that's another quick draw and a better front line rather than the Sivir. We can probably actually get rid of the Sivirs because I doubt we're going five Infiniteam from here. We'll see. But again, the misfortune being quick draw is also pretty nice. And quick draw is a trait where you can two, three, four. Uh, so, you know, I can probably play the, the Lucian and the Kaisa if I want. Okay, a lot of gold here, a lot of bonus orbs. Can we, yeah, I think we can hit 50 here. Yep, we sell the Kaisa, hit 50. I probably should have sold the two Sivers, not the Kaisa, but that's okay. Especially cause it's gonna give us, we have a Sunfire on this Ramus now. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good about the state we're in here. All right. Another extra Lucian. Now, I could level up here, but leveling up doesn't actually get us anything good. 
And we can play a little greedy here, knowing that we have the Lucian 2, the Ramus 2, the Sunfire. I don't know, I think we can get away with being greedy here. It's really risky. But again, there's nothing in the shop really worth leveling for to put in. So, may as well play it greedy and see what happens. Okay, it's a level 4 player. That person that's still on 8 Blitzcranks, so... I think we'll be okay here. The greed paid off. Oh, that's Casper. Casper's a challenger player. So another another tougher lobby, actually. Okay. And yeah, sure enough, the Ramus 2 combined with all these extra Lucians and ooh. You can notice, by the way, if you watch that Misfortune ult, you can actually see the quick shot bullets that come out. So there's an extra quick draw bullet there. All right, so again, we're level six now. Very, very rich. Very, very strong here. Looking good. All right, what are we going to get here? We're going to get Double Trouble Big Friend Thrill. Eh, I could take Thrill, but it's not really worth it. I'm going to reroll here. Portable Forge. Ooh, okay. Mana Zane is just going to get this Lucian casting like crazy. Infinity Force would also have been fine, but I like the Mana Zane here. So we're going to make this Lucian cast like crazy. And it gives me an idea for something to do a little later that I think a lot of people probably haven't picked up on yet. So we're going to roll a little bit, trying to find one more quick draw if we can. Because getting up to three quick draw would be pretty good. We do find the Garen for Defender, which is fine. We could play the Morgana for Shred, since we don't have any Shred right now. But we should also try to keep leveling up and play to our advantage. So... All right, we're up against the other wind streaker here. They have a blitz hook, so they're going to grab our misfortune. Thankfully, that's not our main carry. But that's still a lot of power here. Okay, come on, Ramus. Get through that. Yeah, all right, we're through it. And so now, by the way, we got our second augment. So you can see the Infiniteam clones now have two items. So gets to be a little bit more powerful. Apply that Morello. We keep the win streak going. Feels pretty good. Not too shabby. All right. Yeah, Ezreal would be nice here. Kaisa would be nice. We don't really hit any of that. Okay, I'm going to take a risk here and level up to try to preserve the streak. But again, I really need to hit Kaisa. Or Ezreal. If I don't hit Kaisa and Ezreal... Okay, this is not looking good. We might be low rolling a bit here. We don't want to burn this much gold. Mort, what are you doing? Mort, what are you doing? Why? Oh, that was not a good level up. That was a very bad level up. Hopefully I'm not punished for it. Okay, Lucian's doing his thing. Oh, that Lux ult. Oh, the Lux ult just took out my clone. That's not good. Oh, that Lux is strong. Oh, no, the... No! Oh, this is bad. Oh, no! Okay, I was... This time, I was very punished for the level up. Oh, that was... Everything that went wrong there could go wrong. The clone died really early. Oh, no. That was a bad level up. Okay, I just threw away my big advantage. This is definitely a misplay here. This is not something I'm I'm going to be very happy about. All right. Item-wise, not too picky here. There's no other quick shots. We could just grab the Misfortune. Gives us a second Misfortune, and then the cloak pops off, and we could get something like an Ionic Spark or a Dragon Claw for our Ramus. Yeah, it's still there. It's still there. It's gone. All right, well, armor it is. Make that front line a little beefier. Again, we threw away our advantage here. That that really hurt us here. A two-star ribbon, sure, I guess. Man, losing losing that fight earlier was pretty rough. Now I'm invested. Now I'm rolling here. It feels really bad to keep rolling here. What are you doing, Mort? 
Don't tilt. I mean, we have a mega good front line now. Oh, there's the Kaisa and the Ezreal. We finally hit both here. That's good. Come on, sell your stuff. Now we gotta get our economy back up here. But now we have the three quick draw, which is extra power on this Lucian ult. Oh, that Ram Assault was disgusting. Okay. So quick draw, by the way, the way it works is every two ability bullets, you get an extra one. And at three, it's exactly like normal damage. So yeah, the Lucian now pumping out some good damage here. Sell the Ramuses. Ramus three is a bait. There you go, 10. All right, we got to get our economy back up here. Now, the thing we want to keep an eye out for, by the way, is if we see an ultimate Ezreal and this Ezreal 2, we can do some really funky stuff here. And that's kind of what my plan is with these items. But we'd have to get really, really lucky. So right now, it's get to 8, level up, put in the Ezreal, and go from there. Let's see what we can do here. But again, now that we at least have the three quick draw, we can do some extra stuff here. There's even an argument that four quick draw would be better than the Pantheon here. Although you look at these Lucian items and you're like, sheesh, Jeweled Gauntlet and Death Cap. Not bad. Whew, we tore through everything. Fiddle, go away, fiddle. Woof! Misfortune got us. Okay. And you can kind of see the, the Lucian, the extra Lucian did about 753 damage. Not the worst. Not the best, but not the worst. Alright. PvE round, looking for some extra items for that front line. Boom, 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 do, do, do. 95 health, so we're in a good spot health wise. We just shouldn't have thrown that one round. A Misfortune and a Kaisa. That gives us some pairs that are important. Not bad. Not bad at all. Again, our front line's great right now, right? Two-star Ramus, two-star Riven, two-star Shen. Pretty good. Pretty good. And we're holding the extra Lucians not to get three-star Lucian, but to be able to move our items later. Cloak. Rod. Oh, we get an Ezreal out of a box. Not bad, not bad. We also have our Ionic Spark. Okay, Kaisa 2, not bad. The Ionic Spark's gonna be good here because it'll give us the Shred that we need right now. Yes, that leaves us with a Shroud, but we can always hold on to that for later. A lot of good pairs. Okay. Yeah, so let's try the four quick draw version. This means we lose our Lucian clone, but Kaisa, Misfortune, Lucian, and Ezreal will all do a little bit more damage. So let's see how that goes by comparison. Oh, that is a Blitzcrank 3. Thankfully, we can just unload on it, and it doesn't have that much magic resist or anything like that. We also do have the Sunfire. So yeah, we tore through that pretty quick with the Lucian. Man, imagine this build with the Lucian carry augment, by the way. We'd have so much XP. Whew, not bad. Not bad at all. Looking good. All right, what's our augment gonna be? It is three, three, four. Gain a Shen when you field him, your team takes 8% reduced damage, tripled for four seconds when they cast abilities. I am gonna be casting a lot of abilities with this Lucian. So 24% reduced damage doesn't seem bad to help that front line stay alive longer. We can take that. Oh, and we get the Ezreal too, that's nice. That's nice. All right, so now our front line's even better. That's not bad. This is a good support augment to try out. It'll help Ramus be stronger, so. Now, if we can turn this Ramus into an Aatrox, that might be just as good, if not better. But, yeah. Aatrox is really tanky. All right, so there's the Blitzcrank with the grab again. So, 
Just grabs the MF1, no big deal. Again, Lucian just unloading that damage. And now he gets DR when he does it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, Ramus looking real strong here. Woo! I like it. Alright, other than that one loss where we almost threw the game, you know, not looking too shabby here. Okay. We just high rolled Ultimate Ezreal. This is a big deal because this gives us Parallel. Parallel can do some wonky stuff. Okay, so we put this in. And we're going to run Parallel Ezreal. Now, as of recording this, I think this already got nerfed by the time you guys are watching this, but this, but not even, it's still good. So we're going to make Ezreal our carry now. Four quick draw Ezreal with Parallel Active. Watch this Ezreal. His ult is now that ult. And now that's applying the attack speed slow. Holy moly. And you can see we just deleted this team, that is an Ezreal 2, like, that's just a 2 cost. Now, granted, it's a 2 cost that has to have his parallel version next to him. But, and we have very good items for it, don't get me wrong. But sheesh. That, uh, that just deleted some boards. Imagine if that was 3 star with the augment or something. Sheesh. So we definitely got lucky high rolling the ultimate Ezreal there, allowing us to run parallel. Pretty cool. And that also, by the way, that also fits in perfectly. It gives us three Infinity Team, so we can clone the Ezreal. So now we have two ultimate Ezreals, one of which just gets three items. Granted, it does 40% less damage, but you know. All right, let's grab that armor. That gives us a uh, Bramble for our Ramus. Makes him extra tanky. But yeah, this, this Ezreal now instant casts into Mana Zane. So... Yeah, seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Thanks for being the item holder, Lucian. Cool. At this point, we have that Shen in the box, but there's no way we ever Shen 3 here, I don't think. You should open that box and sell it, Mort. You should do that. Again, a lot of this has been the power of that early Ramus 2. You know, my favorite champion. All right, let's watch this damage. Oh, on the other side though, that is a Nico and a Spell Slinger Aatrox. Wow. Holy moly, that uh, Nico kind of just blew up my back line. Despite how much, like, both damage on both sides was pretty insane this fight. Whew. But yeah, you can see, even though the Nico did a ton of damage, my Ezreal did more. <laughs> Whew. That Aatrox though, scary. Scary stuff. Hmm, all right. Dur -ya, ya We'll have to keep an eye on them. That Nico was really scary. Kind of positioned poorly. Allowed him to blow up my entire front line. So I might want to spread out a little bit more. There's also a world if we get a free Kaisa 3. We could take that. Now, Kaisa, by the way, really benefits from Quick Draw 2. But Quick Draw 3 and 4 don't help her quite as much. So something to keep in mind if you're playing Kai'Sa carry is maybe only go four quick draw and then lean into, or excuse me, two quick draw and then lean into Star Guardian. Something to keep in mind. But since we're mostly playing four quick draw with the Ezreal, it does matter. It makes those parallel ults really big. All right, let's see the damage this time. Instant cast and then the second one you watch, it's like 200 plus 300 for that second quick draw cast. Woo. God, by the time the Ezreal finishes, it's just like, okay. And then here comes the ultimate Ezreal ults, and yeah. Woo! All right. Parallel universe, man. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Mort finally figured it out. Sell the Shen, hit 20. Let's go. Let's go. Two people dead now. Didn't make it to uh, the boss. Oh, well. Casper on a win streak. So yeah, if you ever get the opportunity to play Parallel Ezreal, it's pretty good. We'll see how long, we'll see if people have figured it out by the time I, uh, time this video goes live. All 
All right. Cloak. Hmm. A lot of gold, which is good for trying to reach level 9. Dragon's Claw. These Gloves. We could just These Gloves Kaisa. Okay, yep. These Gloves Kaisa. Speaking of which, I'll sell the Garen, hit 40. Now, if I could hit Garen 2, or even try to play Garen like with those Ramus items, that would probably be good also. So we'll see. But yeah, I think at this point we're trying to go to 9. We could maybe get an Ezreal 2 here and then get the uh, Infiniteam version of that Ezreal 2. Alright, Warwick in the back line. The Blitz grab is going to grab the Kai'Sa, but the Kai'Sa had a Zerat portal anyway. God, look at this Ezreal damage. And then the ultimate Ezreal damage. Whew! Yeah. So if you're wondering why... You know, Wednesday morning there was this nerf. Now you know. All right. So you can just see there. And remember, this Ezreal ult is also applying that 40% chill. So really, really good for stopping the back line. Like I said, I think underground into parallel is going to be a very powerful play regardless. So... Pretty cool. Still 87 health. We should be able to comfortably get to level 9. Not too worried here. And remember that Shen hero augment giving us that extra damage reduction. Alright, here's that Ezreal. Now the Lucian build was better for taking out the Brawlers. Ezreal's not going to do as much here. But thankfully we still have the Sunfire. Yeah, we've kind of run out of steam here. And so I don't know that we're actually going to be able to kill this Warwick. Yeah, so you can kind of see Parallel Ezreal does struggle with some of the, uh, you know, the, the things that don't just fall over on a few casts. And so we do lose this fight. It's not invincible per se, but it is too much for sure. A lot of Nikos in this lobby. As long as we don't get Blitzcrank grabbed, we do want the Ezreal in the corner, but we'll have to see. All right, here we go. These gloves items on Kaisa, not particularly good, but what are you gonna do? All right, so better position than the last time we faced one of these Nico comps. And sure enough, we've got some damage on the back line. Ramus, though, doesn't really have much MR. Ramus already down. But there you go. We managed to blow up their back line enough without feeding the Nico Mana. It's going to be... Oh, no! Well, still lose this fight. But again, this person's level 8, 0 gold. So we fell off a little bit. But... All right. Whew. Casper got knocked out in 6th, unfortunately. Alright. Star Guardian, Infiniteam. I get a little greedy here. I probably shouldn't have taken Infiniteam. But Infiniteam Emblem is really fun in that it allows you to clone champions you shouldn't normally be able to clone. Also, I got baited to thinking maybe I should run 5 Infiniteam. But more realistically here, I probably should have taken something like Morello or Redemption. But, oh well. All right, we get a full item off the carousel as well. Looking for really something for Ezreal. It's probably time to start gearing up ultimate Ezreal here. So Giant Slayer, probably good. Hurricane's not even bad either, but yeah. Because if we can get an Ezre ultimate Ezreal 2 to go with our Ezreal 2, it could be pretty good. Probably just put this on Riven for now. Yeah, so again, if we can get to 5... Infiniteam, we can make another clone and power up the clones we have, but positioning's not great in this fight, but you can just see, wow, that damage is just so much. Whew. Yeah, this is so much damage. 
Parallel universe Ezreal. And again, imagine if this was Ezreal 3 with his carry augment. It would be bonkers. All right, get a chalice here. Let's see what we can do. All right, again, that Warwick is pretty scary here. So we're getting a little scared around that Warwick. We want to make sure that we don't get Blitz grabbed. So we position correctly around the Blitz grab here so that it's just the Misfortune or the Lucian. Oh, the ultimate fiddle here, though, it's pretty good. But yeah, again, just so much damage. Here come the ultimate Ezreal ults. It's so cool when it shoots two of them, by the way, like that. Whew. All right, we managed to beat the ghost. Looking good. Looking good. Another Kaisa, okay. Also, there's the Sivir if we want to run 5 Infinitim, but this is also probably why I shouldn't be running 5 Infinitim, because the best things I can put in are a Twisted Fate with no Duelist or Spell Slinger, or a Sivir, which isn't really good. So, if you're playing Deep Infinitim, it makes sense, but for this, probably not. Because 7 Infinitim can do some really cool stuff. Getting two almost full-powered clones with three full items is pretty fun. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Infinity Edge or Gunblade wouldn't have been bad. Hopefully we can hit the ultimate Ezreal 2 here. It is windy, so we can grab Janna temporarily if we want. But again, the big thing here is we really want to find ultimate Ezreal 2 to give us a backup carry. We're also looking at maybe trying to finally get rid of this Ramus. This Ramus is probably starting to fall off by now. Okay, that is a Janna too. Good Zephyr, maybe. All right, so this is that Star Guardian player that last time we faced them, like, destroyed my team super quick. And wow, look at the damage on that Ramus. That Ramus just dropped so fast. Whew. So yeah, if we're going to have any shot of winning this, we've got to get something that can survive, and that Ramus is not covering it. That Ramus is not doing it. Whew. Okay, Misfortune 2, Leona. We're still not hitting our ultimate Ezreals here. All right, let's ditch the Janna, perhaps, because we don't really need Windy since we're killing everything so quickly. Yeah, cloning a Riven doesn't really seem worth it here. So looking back, that's the kind of thing I shouldn't have done. And again, just no ultimate Ezreals here. Do find a Kai'Sa, so one more Kai'Sa here. Something like a Mech Garen, though, could really survive against that... Uh, that spell slinger comp we were facing earlier, so that's kind of what we're looking for here. Good damage. And yeah, that free backline access is good. Now Misfortune, some good backup damage here. All right. It's just us and the Nico player. So we gotta be careful here. Urgot. Yeah, we don't really need an Urgot. I skipped the jacks. I really shouldn't have skipped the jacks there. One more Ezreal. One more Garen. Yeah, this is going to be close. Now we can position, though, we don't have to get uh, Misfortune ulted. And we want to spread out a little bit, so the Nico ult can't AoE us. So at least we can spread out here. Our positioning's good, so the Ezreal's lined up to try to, like, blow everything up quick. Good. Ionic Spark in the back line. That was good. Okay, Nico's gone. Do we have enough to kill the Aatrox, though? Yep, we do. Okay, woo! Close fight, though. This is going to come down to positioning. 
around this champion. It's gonna be tough. Uh, third item for Ezreal. The Gunblade's okay. We don't need Jeweled Gauntlet. We already have IE. Quicksilver. Yeah, the Gunblade's good. Again, if we can get Ultimate Ezreal 2 with Gunblade here, that'd be really good. And you can see why I'm kind of regretting the Infinity Team Emblem. Still not hitting. Okay, there's the Kaisa 3, though. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Leona 2. Okay. We can use that Leona 2. That can be a, a big tank. Technically better than Ramus. Not by a ton, but it is better. Alright, so again, positioning going to be the key here. Okay, they're on the other side this time, which means our Ezreal Arts aren't, aren't, just, aren't just going to blow up the whole team. You know, I never actually scouted them, but I think they're eight Spell Slinger, which is why this is such a hard fight. El eight Spell Slinger now is very good. But, woo! All right, couldn't quite finish it. Come on, where's the Ezreal? Or at least the Garen or something, come on. Something. Oh my goodness. There's the Jax. Oh, I missed the Jax again! This Mort guy, he's such a noob. See, and the problem is I can't put Leona where Riven is, because I won't get the cl ah. Alright. Kaisa three items aren't bad. But they're pretty split up here. Oh man, those meteors though, they just do so much damage. Oh, the Nico healed up. So we're not going to win this fight. Whew. All right, it's coming down to the wire. 7-1. I don't need more Leonas. Stop giving me Leonas. All right, again, this is where I need to start working towards something a little better here, right? Like, get out the Infinity Team. Use the economy. At least I'm making the play now, but I should have done this a while ago. Take out the Sivir. Can play like a fiddle instead of the Sivir. Okay. Again, third item here. Really, at this point, it's something for the misfortune? Alright, what are we gonna hit? Come on, there's the Jax finally, okay. So that's going to give us this Mech Leona, which at least will be something that can survive all that initial damage. Ultimate Ezreal, please? Come on, Ultimate Ezreal. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Thieves loves misfortune? Okay. Alright, here we go. Is it enough? Is it enough? The Leona, like I said, the Leona should survive a lot better and be up good against this uh, Aatrox. And it was enough, but man, these fights are explosive. Wait, wait, was it? Oh, there it is. All right, GG, there you go. Parallel Ezreal, pretty strong. That's why he's got nerfed. Take it easy.